When you think of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, you might think of an inspiring photo you saw of them training, or perhaps you saw a video of them in action. That inspired you to start training yourself, and here you are today, still getting after it on a regular basis. Many of those legends that motivated you are still doing today what they were doing back then, despite their advanced age. Let's take a look at some of the most famous bodybuilders then and now. Number 12. Franco Columbu Franco Columbu then. Standing just 164 centimeters tall, Franco Columbu was one of the shortest bodybuilders ever to step on stage. But his diminutive height made no difference when it came to his jaw-dropping physique that saw him win the Mystery Olympia title twice in 1976 and 1981. Columbu's 86-kilogram physique was said to be so impressive that he may have even beaten Arnold Schwarzenegger had he competed in the same weight class. And Franco Columbu now? Now 74 years old, after retiring from bodybuilding, Columbu became a qualified chiropractor and bodybuilding mentor. Number 11. Lee Labrada Lee Labrada then Born in Cuba in 1960, Lee Labrada holds 22 bodybuilding titles. Though he never won Mr. Olympia, Lee placed in the top four a total of seven times. He last competed in 1995. During this year, he formed Labrada Nutrition. This company became one of the fastest growing in the industry, earning Inc. 500 status after only six years. Lee Labrada now? Lee Labrada holds a degree in civil engineering and currently lives in Houston, Texas with his wife and three sons. Number 10. Vince Taylor Vince Taylor then Vince Taylor is an American bodybuilder born in 1956. During his career, Vince won 22 total titles. This was a world record until broken by Ronnie Coleman, who surpassed the record with a 26-win total. He also holds the record with five Masters Olympia titles, capturing victories in 1996, 97, and 1999 to 2001. Vince Taylor now Vince Taylor officially retired from bodybuilding in 2007 at the age of 51. Vince currently lives in Florida. He maintains a substantial following on social media. Number 9. Ronnie Coleman Ronnie Coleman then when people think of absurdly huge bodybuilders, their mind probably gravitates to the physique of Ronnie Coleman, the man who redefined the size game in modern physique competitions. An eight-time Mr. Olympia winner, the first time Coleman stood on stage, he shocked judges with his muscle-bound 136 kg body. He is largely considered to be one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. And Ronnie Coleman now. Coleman quit the bodybuilding game in 2007, and almost a decade down the track, it doesn't look like he's lost any size at all. True to form, it appears that the habit of hitting up the gym and training hard is almost impossible to break. A police officer by trade, Coleman now spends much of his time visiting fitness conventions where eager punters will pay to have their photograph taken with him. Number 8. Frank Zane Frank Zane then A teacher in his daily life, Frank Zane represented a new wave of mid-1970s bodybuilders who preferred symmetry and proportion to out-and-out -out size. A two-time Mr. Olympia winner, many people consider Zane's abs to be the best they have ever appeared on stage. Interestingly, Zane counts himself amongst a handful of people who have beaten Arnold Schwarzenegger despite being 10 kilograms lighter at the time. And Frank Zane now. Zane retired from competitive bodybuilding in 1983, where he began operating a personal coaching business with his wife. They may seem normal now, but Zane was amongst the first wave of truly personal trainers. Now age 73, Zane spends his days tending to his website and playing small roles in bodybuilding documentaries. Despite being a mere shadow of his former physique, Zane is still said to be in great health. Number 7. Arnold Schwarzenegger Arnold Schwarzenegger then. The man who brought bodybuilding into the mainstream needs no introduction. A seven-time Mr. Olympia winner, Arnold is considered to be the greatest of all time, thanks largely to his impressive combination of symmetry, proportion, and sheer size. At his peak, he weighed 113 kgs, had a single-digit body fat percentage, and could bench press 240 kilograms. And Arnold Schwarzenegger now. After retiring from bodybuilding in 1980, Arnold went on to become a cheesy action movie star, the governor of California, environmental activist, and a successful entrepreneur. The 68-year-old keeps in impressive shape to this day, training every morning with weights for half an hour and regularly riding a bike around each new city he visits. Number 6. Lou Ferrigno Lou Ferrigno then. Better known as the actor who played the Hulk in the 1970s TV series of the same name, Lou Ferrigno became famous as the man who kept losing to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Many people say that if he were born in any other time, he would have countless bodybuilding records and despite his overall size, could never match the symmetry of his rival Schwarzenegger. On stage, Ferrigno weighed a staggering 130 kg without an ounce of body fat on him. And Lou Ferrigno now. Make no mistake about it, Ferrigno still makes any room he walks into feel small. Now 64 years old, 
Ferrigno has carved himself out a successful business career selling fitness equipment and also divides his time as a reserve sheriff's deputy with Los Angeles County Police. Number 5. Mike Katz Mike Katz then. An enormous man standing almost 1.9 meters tall, Mike Katz funded his bodybuilding pursuits by working as a gym teacher for a Connecticut State College. He became famous by appearing in the documentary Pumping Iron, where he was seen as the underdog going up against his much fancied rivals in Schwarzenegger and Ferrigno. Katz frequently mentioned that his motivation for bodybuilding was born out of relentless bullying as a child where he was picked on for being Jewish. And Mike Katz now. Now age 72, Mike Katz went on to forge a successful career as a gym owner after retiring from bodybuilding in 1981. He now owns five different gyms throughout the Connecticut region, which he runs in conjunction with his son, Mike Katz Jr. In 2011, Katz suffered from an aortic aneurysm, which doctors said would have taken his life if it weren't for the excellent shape that his body was in at the time. Number 4. Bob Paris Bob Paris is a former professional bodybuilder who competed in five IFBB Mr. Olympia contests. He retired from the sport in 1991. In a 1989 issue of Iron Man announced that he was gay. Bob Paris was the first professional athlete of any kind to come out while still being active in his sport. Paris states that after this time, he lost 80% of his endorsements and bookings and that he also received threats on his life via phone and mail. Bob Paris Now Bob Paris eventually became a vocal supporter for gay rights and gay marriage. In 2012, Bob admitted on his website that he never had an interest in lifelong bodybuilding. Today, he is still very physically active and in the best shape of his life. It's this diversity of interests that eventually led me away from a strict focus on hardcore weight training as a central part of my life. Don't misread that though, I'm the fittest and healthiest I've ever been, and certainly the happiest and most authentic. Number 3. Samir Banut Samir Banut then Samir Banut, also known as the Lion of Lebanon, won his only Mr. Olympia title in 1983. Before retiring from bodybuilding in 1996, Samir Banut managed to compete a total of 58 times. He was one of the first bodybuilders to be open about his use of anabolic steroids. Samir Banut now Previously married to Lee Labrada's sister, Samir Banut now lives in Los Angeles with his wife Randa. Number 2. Tom Platts Tom Platts then Tom Platts, also known as the Golden Eagle. Tom was known for having the biggest quads on the planet. He was the first bodybuilder to take leg day to a whole new level. Between 1979 and 1986, Tom Platts competed in seven Mr. Olympia competitions. His best placing was third in 1981. Tom Platts now Tom remains a huge proponent of the sport. At the age of 61, he is still one of the top guest speakers in the bodybuilding world. I just want to give back to the sport I love which has been really great to me. Number 1. Rich Gaspari Rich Gaspari then An IFBB Hall of Famer, bodybuilder Rich Gaspari placed second in the Mr. Olympia three times in 1986, 1987, and 1988. During each of these years, Rich was taken down by the legendary Mr. Olympia, Lee Haney. Rich Gaspari now Known as the Dragon Slayer, Rich Gaspari formed his own supplement line in 2001. Gaspari Nutrition is still around today. He currently lives in New Jersey. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.